someone with no helmet by the looks of it. It's got the flashing lights, everything like that. Good morning everyone, the MMDA are back on the road. Right now they've just arrived at Balintawak. The sidewalk clearing team will be going down into the market, trying to clear the road. If you look at this road a year ago, you could barely even pass it. Now it's a lot better, but they do have to stay on top of it and do regular visits. Let's go take a little look. Yeah, they've got a lot of work to do this morning. Right now they're looking at this tricycle here. They're going to inspect the paperwork, make sure everything's in order. Unfortunately, the driver can't show a license, so this vehicle will actually be impounded. Here's another tricycle here that they've stopped, uh, originally for illegal parking. When they asked for the driver's license, uh, they're not able to show one. They only have a student permit. So the driver was actually asking them to let him go, uh, but it's better if he gets a driver's license before he drives on the road. So you can see the towing crew here now, and they'll put it on the back of this truck. The PMP have just arrived now because somebody tried to obstruct the enforcers from impounding a Calorum tricycle. They did manage to get the tricycle and the guy that was trying to stop them has run away. So over here they stopped a motorcycle, neither of the riders are wearing helmets. Also the driver is wearing slippers which is a dress code violation, that's actually 500 pesos penalty. Over here they stopped another motorcycle, the back rider wasn't wearing a helmet. They'll ask to see the driver's license so they can issue a ticket. The driver handed over his license so they're just writing out the ticket now. His passenger's already gone away so he'll be able to ride on by himself. They're just flagging this tricycle over now. They're not allowed on this road so they'll issue a ticket for a tricycle ban. So this one here will be impounded for no registration and uh, because of the improvised sidecar. And here comes another tricycle now, potentially overloaded because there's a lot of people on there. But either way they're not allowed on this road. For this one with all the passengers, uh, the paperwork's in order, license is okay, so they'll just issue a ticket for a tricycle ban and overloading. So this is amazing, this guy has pulled up and parked his car, he said he wants to go to the ATM, the MMD are telling him it's not allowed, and he's saying no, I'm just going to the ATM. So even with all of these enforcers here, even with people telling him, he still wanted to try and go to the ATM, it's EDSA, there's no parking, there's no stopping, no, no anything, anyways, he's leaving now, well, He's going to pull over anyway, but now he's going to park on the sidewalk, which also isn't allowed. One of the enforcers is going over now to speak to him and advise him he can't park on the sidewalk. So watch this. This pedestrian who was using the sidewalk, where is he going to go now? Let's see. Oh, surprise, surprise, in the road on Edsa, the busy Edsa road. Some people really just don't care. They they think that their own priorities are more important than everybody else. The enforcer is just writing out the ticket now and then they'll move the car on. Right now the enforcers are speaking to the driver of this vehicle parked on the sidewalk. I saw he just handed over his license so they'll just issue a ticket then let him on his way. Right now the enforcers are speaking to the owners of these bikes about being parked on the sidewalk. The strange thing is there's a lot of parking here. Um, actually as far as I know you can't put these parking signs here because this is public parking. Um, so although it says reserved, as far as I know, this is actually open for everyone. Uh, so if they just parked their bikes here, they wouldn't have any problem. But because it's on the sidewalk, they could be issued a ticket. They're calling in the sidewalk clearing team to take away these signs. So you can see they're just loading those signs onto the truck now. It's really meant to be first come, first serve, public parking. Uh, so they're just going to remove these signs. They're also removing similar posts like this. This is actually something that people have asked about many, many times. Are they really allowed to block it off like this? Uh, I guess not because the signs are being taken away now by the clearing team. Further down the road they stopped this tricycle, they're just issuing it a ticket now. Everything's in order with the paperwork and the license, but tricycle ban shouldn't be on this road. So issuing a ticket then send them on their way. But I also noticed there's a post here with some rope blocking off these spaces. But again, as far as I know, these are public parking, first come, first serve. So I don't know, we'll see if the SCOG team also clear this. So they are removing that post and that rope, they'll free this up. Over here they're taking a look at this parked on the sidewalk, they'll clear it, it looks like it's chained up. They're also removing these tires that were placed here to block these parking spaces. Over here is another car they've towed away. What's this here? Someone with no helmet by the looks of it. 
got the flashing lights, everything like that. The driver's handing over his license now, so they'll issue a ticket and then send him on his way, but he will have to push this vehicle until he gets a helmet. Over here, they're clearing these motorcycles from the sidewalk. I guess there's no drivers. They're also looking at clearing these bikes. Same reason, parked here on the sidewalk. Sidewalks, pedestrians only. The guy actually came over and started taking pictures and saying, why are you towing the vehicles away from the parking spaces? So they had to explain to him that they weren't from the parking spaces, they were from the sidewalk. Stopping this guy now, riding without a helmet. So actually that guy was escorted here by the rider. Uh, he went past quite fast. They tried to flag him down, wasn't able to. They sent the rider after him. He caught up. Uh, issuing a ticket now for a no helmet. It looks like some of the motorcycle owners have come out now. They're asking about why their bikes have been impounded. They said we should have just been ticketed. Uh, the MMDA enforcer explained to him, we can't ticket you if you're not there. That's why they were impounded. Right now they're looking at this ambulance obstructing the sidewalk here. Uh, they're responding to an emergency, no problem. Uh, it's understandable. But if they're just using it as a taxi, uh, then they'll issue a ticket. Often these kind of ambulances are actually just used to ferry people around and not so much to provide medical support. They verified they're not responding to any kind of emergency so they're issuing a ticket now. So you see all these cars here parked parallel, no problem. But these two cars parked like this, they're obstructing the road. So they're issuing tickets to these two drivers now.